Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am going to explaining about uh, divisibility rules. In the last session, we have discussed up to 10 divisibility rules. Uh, now we will continue the divisibility rules from 11 onwards. First, divisibility rule of 11. Guys, in any competitive examination or else any campus placement drives, uh, divisibility rule of 11 is very important. Uh, right? Listen carefully. Here, first I will write the definition of divisibility rule of 11. After that, I will tell you one example regarding that. Divisibility rule of 11. Here, if any number is divisible by 11, then the difference between, then the difference between sum of odd place digits, sum of odd place digits and sum of even place digits, sum of odd place digits and sum of even place digits is either 0, is either 0 or multiple of 11 or multiple of 11. That is the divisibility rule of 11. Read this sentence carefully. If any number is divisible by 11, the difference between, difference between which numbers we are talking about? Sum of odd place digits and sum of even place digits. The difference between these two is either 0 or else multiple of 11. Then that particular number is divisible by 11. I will tell you one small example for first uh, for uh, understanding purpose, as we all know that 11 cube is equal to 1331. 11 cube is equal to 1331. Now, as we are taking the example as 11 cube, automatically this 1331 is definitely divisible by 11. Now, we will check it out according to the divisibility rule of 11, whether it is divisible by 11 or not. Here, divisibility rule of 11 is... Uh, Sum of odd place digits. Some students will think that those are odd digits. Odd digits are different and odd place digits are different. Here we are talking about the positions. Here position in the sense, this is first position, second position, third position and fourth position. Here we are talking about the positions, not the odd numbers and even numbers. Okay. Here sum of odd place digits these are odd place digits 1 plus 3 and sum of even place digits these are even place digits 3 plus 1 this is 4 and this is 4 and the difference between these two difference between these two is either 0 or multiple of 11 here this number satisfies the divisibility rule of 11 so this number is divisible by 11 right i will explain one more example let us take a big number 7 yeah this is a number this is a number if you see this number this is a five digit number according to divisibility rule of 11 sum of Odd place digits, 7 plus 9 plus 4. Sum of even place digits, 6 plus 3. Sum of even place digits, 6 plus 3. Here if you add all these 3, 7 plus 4, 11, 11 plus 9, 20. And the sum of these two, 9. Difference between these two, 20 minus 9, which is equal to 11. Here we got the difference between sum of odd place digits and even place digits is 11. That is a multiple of 11. So, definitely this number is divisible by 11. That is the divisibility rule of 11. Very, very important for all campus placements as well as uh, uh, various competitive examinations. Okay. Next one. Divisibility rule of 11. Divisibility rule of 12. Here, 12 is a combination of 3 and 4. 12 is a combination of 3 and 
4. It is not the combination of 2 and 6. Some people will think that it is 2 and 6. It is not a combination of 2 and 6. Why? Because the reason is here whenever we are taking the combinations you must keep it in mind one point that is uh, both the numbers must have a separate uh, rule. If you observe carefully 2 is having a separate rule but 6 don't have a separate rule. Again it is a combination of 2 and 3. Now if you multiply again you will get 4 into 3 only. You will get 4 into 3. Now 3 is having a separate rule. 4 is having a separate rule. That is the reason why divisibility rule of 12 is uh, 3 into 4. And next divisibility rule of uh, 14. First I will explain 14, 13, 17, 19. These three I will explain at last. Why? Because all these are similar model. Okay. See divisibility rule of 14. If any number is divisible by 14, that is also a combination. It is a combination of 2 and 7. In the last session, I already told you about uh, 7 divisibility rule and, uh, and also 2. 2 and 7 combination. Next, 15. 15 is also a combination. It is a combination of 3 and 5. It is a combination of 3 and 5. And next, uh, first I will tell you all the combinations which are very important. And next, 16 is having a separate rule. 17, I will explain later. 18, again 18. Divisibility rule of 18, that is also a combination. It is a combination of 2 and 9. It is a combination of 2 and 9. Combination in the sense, it must be divisible by both 2 as well as 9. And next, 19. After that, few more important uh, divisibility rules, that is 24. 24 is a combination of 3 and 8. These combinations are very important in examination point of view. 3 and 8. One more. 36. 36 is a combination of 4 and 9. 4 and 9. 36 is a combination of 4 and 9. One more, 55. 55 is a combination of 5 and 11. 5 into 11 which is equal to 55. Likewise, uh, you can take the combination. But remember, whenever you are taking the combinations, uh, you must be remember that uh, those two numbers must have a separate tool. It should not be again a combination of any two numbers. Okay? Likewise, you need to write down the combinations. All these are various combinations. Uh, now, finally, we will be left over with uh, 4. That is uh, 16, 13, 17, 19. First, I will explain 16. After that, I uh, will go ahead with uh, 13, 17, 19. Okay? See the divisibility rule of 16. Divisibility rule of 16. If any number is divisible by 16, then it's uh, last four digits, last four digits must be divisible by, must be divisible by 16. Then it's last four digits must be divisible by 16. Okay. That is the divisibility rule of uh, 16. Okay. I will tell you one small example regarding this. Uh, see here, whatever the number you have taken, See, this is a number. This is a number. In this number, this is very big number. Don't take entire number. Take only last four digits. Here the last four digits are 3280. Check it out whether this number is divisible by 16 or not. Yes, definitely it is divisible. 16 to 32, 0 and 16 fives are 80. So, 205 times. Sir. If last 4 digits are divisible by 16, automatically this entire number is divisible by 16. Automatically this entire number is divisible by 16. That is the divisibility rule of uh, 16. And next, first I will explain divisibility rule of uh, 19. Why? Because uh, 
divisibility rule of 19 and 7 both are almost similar in the last session i explained about 7 right now here i will explain about 9 19 both are almost similar that is uh, divisibility rule of 19 if any number is divisible by 19 if the sum of the sum of number of tens if the sum of number of tens and twice the units place twice the units place must be divisible by 19 twice the units place must be divisible by 19 whereas for 7 the divisibility rule is in place of sum there we are using difference difference of uh, number of tens and twice the units place is divisible by 7 for 19 it is sum of number of tens and twice the units place is divisible by 19 let us take a small example 361 361 is equal to how many tens are there in this number 36 plus twice the units place twice the units place 1 into 2 that is 2 36 plus 2 38 38 is divisible by 19 therefore this entire number is divisible by 19 that is the divisibility rule of uh, 19 okay and next one finally we will be left over with uh, 13 and 17 divisibility rule of 13 divisibility rule of 13 is See, if any number is divisible by 13, if any number is divisible by 13, then the sum of, the sum of number of tens, sum of number of tens and uh, four times of units place, four times of units place is divisible by 13 is divisible by 13 if you see one small example 169 as we all know that 169 is a perfect square of 13 so it is definitely divisible by 13 once check it out according to the divisibility rule of 13 whether it is divisible by 13 or not here number of tens number of tens in this 169 which is 16 and we are talking about sum plus 4 times of units place. Units place is 9 and 4 times of this number. 4 into 9, 36. 16 plus 36 which is equal to 52. 52 is divisible by 13. Therefore, this entire number is divisible by 13. That is the divisibility rule of 13. If you take one more example, 2197. Number of tens in this number, 219. Plus twice the units place sorry not twice four times of units place 7 into 4 28 now you can add these two suppose if it is uh, units place is 7 17 and uh, here it is 4 and this is uh, 2 247 again if you don't know 247 is divisible by 13 or not again do the same process number of tens in this number 24 plus 4 times of units place 28 24 plus 28 52 this is divisible by 13 therefore entire number 2197 is divisible by 13 right and last and final divisibility rule of 17 divisibility rule of 17 here the divisibility rule is difference between difference between number of tens difference between number of tens and uh, five times of units place five times of units place is divisible by 17 is divisible by 17 here let me take one example 289 number of tens in this number 28 number of tens uh, that is 28 up to here and 5 times of units place. What is 5 times of units place? 9 into 5, 45. The difference between these two. Here the difference between these two is 
17. Difference between these two is 17. As 17 is divisible by 17, so automatically entire number is divisible by 17. That is the divisibility rule of 17. By this, all divisibility rules are completed. And uh, in the next session, we will discuss uh, number of factors. How to find number of factors of uh, any number. That I will explain in next class. Thank you. Thanks for watching.